everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just finished cleaning up the boys' bedroom and while it's looking spotless, I thought I'd take you on a little tour and show you how our three sons share a room and also talk a little bit about why we're not concerned that they're going to be sharing a space in the new house. So we have a long hallway at the top of the stairs and um, there are three bedrooms in this house. The one that my husband and I share, the one that the girls share, and this room that the boys share. When we were first moving in, we were trying to decide which room that they could go in. And this room is the only room that fit the bunk beds. And so this is the room that they got. Our youngest son sleeps on the bottom bunk. And he keeps his space really clean. He does have this little side table where he keeps his personal belongings. So it keeps things clutter free and a little lantern that he uses if he's reading at night. Our middle son sleeps on the top bunk here and he has his own little collection of items. He loves stuffed animals and he's got some books up there that he also reads at night and a little lantern as well. Their bedding was purchased at Target many years ago. Um, back when we just had the two boys, I had bought the two matching sets on clearance. And they've held up pretty well, actually. I don't know that they'll make the cut for the new house, but they have held up pretty well. They're just kind of red, white, and blue. Their room overall kind of has a red, white, and blue vibe going for it. This is a vintage globe that uh, my parents um, gifted us and then one of my husband's old textbooks. I thought it was just kind of kind of neat to have a little vignette there. This is a laundry chute that we have closed off but in these old farmhouses they use laundry chutes quite often. As you can see we've got wood floors up here but they were not in great condition and so when we first moved in um, actually there was carpet. We pulled up the carpet and the floors, we were not about to refinish them. First, first of all, because they're renting. Second of all, they weren't in great shape. And so we painted them with this porch paint. And it's actually held up pretty well. We've got a couple spots where like the furniture maybe has scuffed it up a little bit. But we're actually really happy with how it has held up. We have two really nice big windows. Let in a lot of light. And as you can see, we are out in a winter wonderland. Maybe you can't see because it's too bright. But it's very snowy outside today, and we've just got a really peaceful setting that we're on um, the farmland. And then over in this corner is sort of their reading area. We keep books. Um, the books that we own are in the bottom three shelves, and then this row here is library books. So we kind of rotate those out depending on what we get from the library. I went through and decluttered a ton of books this summer, and so this is what they have left uh, for the boys. This poof right here, this reading poof, actually stores the boys' sleeping bags. And so if they're going to go camping or something, we can just pull them out of there. Um, it was filled with bean, like the little pellet things, and it was kind of a mess. And so we took all of those out, and we just put the sleeping bags in it, and it has worked perfectly for us. And then they also have a chair over here if they want to sit in a chair to read. And this nice rug here. We don't allow really toys up in the room. Sometimes they will come up here, but our youngest son did get this little basketball hoop for Christmas this year. And so he, they will close the door and actually do this in the hallway. So it works good. We don't have a basin at this house. And so if they need to get their wiggles out, that's a good place. Now, when we moved into this house and we were trying to decide where everyone was gonna sleep, um, I looked at this closet that we took the door off of and I thought I think a bed could fit back there and so we tried it we measured it out and sure enough um, this is a bed that was kind of assembled on site our oldest son then kind of got his own little room I do have a blog post about that if you'd like to um, see some more details of this room but I'll just I'm not sure how good the lighting is going to be in here but he kind of has his own as you can see the the ceiling slopes and that's similar to what is going to be at our new house we kind of have the the room in Eve situation going on there. Um, he also has a little side table and a lamp and he kind of has an airplane thing going on in here so he's got lots of airplane things. He's really into that. Um, he keeps a journal. He just started doing that this year and I definitely recommend this journal if you have preteens 
Um, it's just, it's going to be really interesting for him to look back on some of the questions he's answering um, through the five years. It's a five-year journal, and he actually really enjoys that. He asked for that for Christmas, so we were happy to give that to him. And then on this side, he's got um, a air, an airplane wing, which kind of a funny story. We found that in a dumpster, or actually a garbage can on the side of the road and um, brought it in and it fits just perfect in there. He also likes vintage things and so he's got some like a typewriter and uh, I don't know even know what these are but some different vintage things. Keeps his his own little collection of ribbons and different things over here. More airplane things and the Minnesota Vikings. He has a little desk back here. He does not really use it often at all but he's got drawers for um, some Legos and then I think he's got like drawing stuff in this one. Yep, some pencils and pens. So he can use them. He's got some books down there. And yeah, this is just his little spot. And he has this curtain that I, I've tucked up right now, but he, he does close the curtain off um, at night. And so he's, um, when he's reading, he can stay up a little bit later. So he closes this curtain. There's a rod right here and sleeps in here. Pete opens it at night, obviously. So this is a view out into the bedroom again and it's just a small space it's not uh, real large I think maybe it's maybe 10 by 13 the room the overall room and then this little side room here is about 10 by I suppose 10 by 4 10 by four and a half maybe so that is the entire tour and I will leave a link below to what we are planning for the new house. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the boys' bedroom. If you'd like to see our girls' bedroom, please comment below and let me know and I could definitely set that up as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to this channel or visiting my website arrowhillcottage.com for more tips on creating a simple home and living an intentionally simple life.